What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to transform these OBS dashes into the uh, color match for your interior. I got this dash from LMC Truck. I'll throw the link in the description. Um, you can buy these brand new. They come in like a matte black color so you will have to paint it. Uh, luckily they provide you with a color bond match that will uh, match the interior of your truck. Um, first things first, when I got it down here I wanted to uh, give it some kind of cleaning. Um, I did that and did some sandpaper as well, um, real, real light, light grit, um, just to make it stick. This is the um, adhesive spray that I picked up for um, plastic and vinyl. Had a little run there, but um, as you can see, this was the LVP color match I got. I believe my color code was light gray, so my truck has all gray interior. There's a few different colors of that. So. Um, once I started spraying, you really want to just focus on real light strokes, just barely misting it on there. It's real important. Um, a lot of guys hammer it down on it and it bleeds, and I've seen that happen before. So you don't want any runniness, especially on the front side of what you're going to be witnessing when you're driving all the time. So real light strokes, trying to cover as much area as you can. As you can see, I've got a little makeshift paint booth set up in my garage that um, really helped me um, knock down some of the fumes. Here's the start of my second of four coats that I eventually did. Um, I try to hit about 10, 15 minutes after each round. It doesn't take very long to cure and you don't want to let it dry too, too long. So um, main important thing is once again, long, slow strokes. Finish all the way through just like you'd be painting a car so you don't have any bled lines. Uh, really tried to hammer down on the front that you would see the most and then kind of creep through the top ends of it even though most of this is going to be covered with different speaker boxes and your uh, gauge cluster but um, consistency was more than anything if you're trying to really restore this as I am. And here's your final product so pretty happy with how that turned out considering the redneck paint job. The uh, gray lines were pretty seamless. I was a little concerned about that being so light, but it worked out really well. Um, not a super difficult process, just more tedious. Make sure you follow the steps with it and get the perfect color match paint. 